Hi everyone, Nicholas Bafidis here from Sunny Cyprus, back with another video tutorial. And this tutorial, like the one that I've previously done just recently, is about mail merge and all about breaking up a merge the document into individual files with custom file names. Now, just to clarify, a merge document essentially is the result of having a template letter, for example, or a mark sheet, which I'm going to be using. And I want to customize that mark sheet for my students by putting the student's name at the top. And I want to be able to save the mark sheet of each student as an individual file, like I've got here. Okay, so each student's name for their mark sheet. And that way I can just use that mark sheet to do my marking. Now, the problem with mail merge is usually we have a data source, let's say where the student names are. And then from there, we merge those names to the document. So if I've got 20 students and my mark sheet is two pages long, it's going to generate a long document of 40 pages, two for each student with their name at the top at, at the beginning of each mark sheet. That makes a very long mark sheet. Well, it makes a very long document. And essentially what you have to then do is break down that document into separate units and then save each one with another file name, with the student's name. A very tedious process. Now, I've showed you in the previous tutorial, which you can find as a link in the description below, that we can actually merge directly to a Word document and a PDF with custom file names, any file name that we want, and to custom folders. But that required creating a macro using VB script, which I gave you and you just simply had to copy paste. However, this tutorial is a little bit easier because it takes that merged document and with a little trick that we're going to learn, we're going to click on a button and what it's gonna do, as we can see over there on the, on the far of this picture, we can see we've got six pages there, which is my merged document. And I'm going to break that up into separate files like we can see in this folder here. It's a very simple process, only requires a couple of clicks. So let's get started. Okay, so from here we can see in this folder, I've got a Word document and my data source. My data source, if we have a look, basically contains one column, just the student names. I'm only going to be adding the names at the top of the mark sheet. I don't need any other fields, but if you want to add more fields, you're, you can do, and you can import those into your document. I only need the student names. Here I've got my mark sheet. This is my master template, where I'm, which I've already linked to my data source by mail merge. I'm gonna have a link to my tutorial mail merge, again, in the description at the bottom. So from here, if I open this up, it's asking me, do I want to link to that data source? I'm gonna click on yes. And we can see here, here's the merge field, which I've merged, just a full name. And if I go to mailings and just have a preview, I can see here all the students and all the reports, well, the mark sheets it's going to generate. So one for each person. And each one is actually two pages long. So essentially when I merge this, it's going to be 24 pages long because if I go to edit recipient list, I've got 12 students in total, and each one is going to have the two pages generated for them. Okay, so here's the trick. Before you actually merge this document, before you actually go to finish and merge and click on edit individual documents, we want to go right to the beginning, and this is where the beginning of the document is, and that's where it's going to decide where it's going to actually create the individual documents. I want to go right to the beginning and I want to go to home and I want to click here on heading one. I don't have to type a heading. I don't have to give a heading. I just need this first line here to be heading one. And that's where Word is going to decide later on where to break the, the, the long document into individual documents. Now, here's the trick. The first thing that must come after this heading one must be if you want to have the child's name as the, as the file name, or if you want the parent name or whatever, it must be the name. So it's not as versatile as the previous tutorial which I've given you, but if you do follow this by a name, then it's going to put that name. And because for each document, the name is going to be different, it's going to choose the name from here. If I go to preview, then this one is going to be called Lucy Franklin docx. This one's going to be Anne Lynch docx, so it's going to take this name. Now, also the next thing that you have to know is you can't have another heading. So if I click here, for example, and click on heading one again, then what this is going to do 
instead of creating 12 documents, it's going to generate 24 unique documents. So when we actually create this uh, process to break up that long document, it's going to break it wherever we've got that heading one. So we only want heading one at the beginning. Okay, so with that done, and then the next thing that follows is the, the name. I'm going to now merge my document. I'm going to go to mailings. I'm going to go to finish and merge. Actually, let's just remove that. I don't want the preview results. Finish and merge, edit individual documents. I want to merge all of the records. Click OK. And here we go. It's now merged and it's created this really long document. So I've got 12 records, uh, 12 students, two pages each one. And that's going to generate, you can see down here, right down here in the bottom corner, it says two of 24. So this is 24 pages, two for each child. So let's say, there you go. This is Madeline, two pages down. This is the next one. This is Lucy. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to save this document in the folder where we want to generate all the individual documents. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go in the same folder where I've got everything else, my mark sheet. I'm just going to create a new folder as well. I'm going to say STU Mark Sheets, my student mark sheets. I'm going to open that. And I want to save this in here. And I'm just going to call this uh, merged doc. This is the, the document with the 24 pages, all 12 students in. Click on save. So I've saved that now. And if I have a look, I'll just bring this up over here for you as well. We can see that in this folder where I had my uh, mark sheet and my database or my, da uh, my data here, I've got this new folder, student mark sheet. And in here, it saved that merge doc. All right, so the next process is this. I'm just going to use this in a second. I'm going to go to my document and I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to view and I'm going to go to outline. Now, remember, I'm in this new document, which I've merged, the one with all the 24 pages in here. I'm going to go to outline view. From outline view, I want to save the entire, well, I actually want to select the entire document. So I'm just going to press Control A on my keyboard. That selects everything. I'm going to restore this window so you can actually see this process happening in that folder on the right here. Now, so I want to make sure all of this is selected. I'm going to click here where it says Show Document, and I get this option here, Create. Now, when I click on Create, now all I have to do is click on Save. And as soon as I click this Save button, look on this window over here on the right, Look at that. It's just generated those documents for me. And the file name is the student name. The reason why is because right after the heading, so if I close that now, I don't need that. Right after the heading one here in my master document, I had the name. Now, I'm going to do this again without having that name there. So I'm going to type something else so you can see what actually will happen. So I'm just going to delete these documents here. And I'm just going to do this process again very quickly. I'll do this in restored window view. So we can actually see that folder over there as well. OK, so again, I'm back to my normal template, my master template here, my most document. I'm going to click before that full name and I'm just going to type here, uh, dear parent or dear student here. Dear student, and underneath is, is the student's name, okay? Now, up here in the home section, just make sure here in the home, this right before, right at the beginning, I've got it as heading one, there it is there, but what's following this heading one is this text, dear student, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, mail merge or mailings. I'm going to finish and merge edit individual documents. I want to merge all of them. Here's my document. There it says, it says, dear student. And then it's got the unique name for each student here. 24 pages again. That's fine. I need to save this document. File, save as. I'm going to go to browse, go to my folder. In student mark sheets. Mark sheet merged. Okay. 
and we can see here on the right it's saved my merged mark sheet this is the one with all the 24 pages now from here i'm going to go to view outline view i'm going to select everything Control a i'm going to click on show document click on create now as soon as i click on save up here we're going to see here on the right my documents but this time can you see it says Dear student, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's because right after heading one, it had dear student. So if you want the customized naming for your files, you need to follow it with whatever you're going to be pulling from that source. Let's say it's a student name, it might be a reference number, whatever you want. But if you are pulling um, some data like I am here I'm pulling the full name from my data source then each document will have a new full name here which means each document over here will have a unique name based on that data source that's it um, I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it actually helps you out and you really do find this useful and if you do make sure you like make sure you subscribe I'll see you again in the next tutorial take care bye bye